Back in 2010, LEGO released a new wave of sets, which revolved around the very popular TV show at the time, Ben 10. For those of you who are extremely uncultured by the way, Ben 10 is essentially the story of a young boy who steals a Rolex and then uses it to cosplay as different aliens. You know, just your regular 10 year old stuff. Now don't be surprised if this is the first time you're hearing of this theme. Its runtime was extremely short, only lasting for around 6 months and only seeing the release of 6 sets. On paper, this combination sounded like a guaranteed success, one of the most popular TV shows teaming up with one of the most successful toy companies ever. In 2010, Ben 10 was at peak popularity, at one point being more popular than Star Wars, Marvel and LEGO themselves at the same time. So what happened? Well, I think one look at the actual sets themselves should help to answer this question. I mean, they are literally the spawn of Satan. You know, I had to actually get my vicar over here to ensure that I didn't summon a demon whilst making this video. It's hero time! I mean, usually with licensed themes, the mere fact that it's Lego is enough to sell the toys. But like all kids shows, Ben 10 also had a lot of action figures. I mean, like, a lot. The fact that Lego also tried to make action figures really screwed themselves over. It meant that they were having to compete with companies like Hasbro, and Bandai who already had the monopoly. Not only was this theme competing with other toy companies, but also with LEGO themes such as Barnacle and Hero Factory, two of LEGO's most notorious and best-selling action figure lines. Historically, themes which had very short run times and limited releases see a huge price increase on the second-hand market. Ten years on, however, you can pick yourselves up the full wave and a disease for £25. So this got me wondering why this theme was so badly received. I asked people on Instagram what they thought of Ben 10 and I got some interesting replies. The general consensus was that these figures were pretty bad, with some people talking about how great the show was yet how bad the figures were. Now one of the more PTSD inducing traits of these sets is the combinations, where you could combine different sets to make new aliens, such as this one. Mom. Do you know where the tweezers are? Now when I was younger, I personally really liked these figures. I used to be obsessed with Ben 10 and LEGO at the same time, so a couple of months back when I was doing some sorting of old LEGO, I came across some old Hero Factory and Bionicle sets, and I began to get kind of curious to see whether or not I actually had any old Ben 10 sets. It turns out that I only had a couple of pieces from the old sets, which to be quite frank, was unacceptable. So unlike any normal adult, I threw them out of my sister's window. Now in case you didn't think these sets were traumatic enough, they also glow in the dark. So when you're trying to get to sleep, you're being watched by a 7 inch Freddy Krueger on your shelf. Now when I tried to find any LEGO Ideas submissions of Ben 10, all of them had expired years ago. Whilst people are allowed to submit sets from the IP, there are absolutely none that I could find. There still are some really nice custom creations out there. And you know what confuses me? Why didn't they just go for a more classical build style, like an Omnitrix? the rust bucket, or heck, if they wanted the same result, they could have just gone with a bottle of cortisol. So, um, well, that, that's the video then. You know, I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you all just how obsessed I was with Ben 10 when I was younger. In fact, here's a picture taken just moments before my parents threw me off of a cliff because I was such a little shit. If this gremlin didn't like LEGO Ben 10, then I'd be surprised if anyone else did. Feel free to tell me your opinions in the comments below though, and if you made it this far through the video, comment talking about your favourite sandwich as well, and you win a whole lot of nothing. Congratulations to you. Sometimes when I can't find my room.